What's up guys, Jackie and Em here for your very first episode of Bully TV. That's right, coming to you live from right here at Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. Now this place is iconically part of Brisbane's wildlife history. It opened up in 1927, which is almost 100 years ago now. It started with two koalas, Jack and Jill, and has since evolved to home an incredible breeding program and is now home to over 100 koalas and over 70 different native Australian species. That's right, now that's a lot of critters to go meet, so shall we get started? Let's go. Come on, here we go boys. Oh, and by the way, did we mention? Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary has loads of family friendly fun for you to get involved in too. So emus are actually really, really fascinating creatures. They're definitely not my favorite, but the, uh, the fact about emus as well is that they can't walk backwards and that is why they're on our Australian coat of arms with the kangaroos. So that's why they're probably in the same area because they're always moving forward. Guys, Bully TV, bring in the goods. You actually really like this guy. I'm the emu whisperer. They're actually really, really gentle. Well, this one is anyway. Can't speak for all of them. Personally, not a huge fan of emus, but I will come and pat it. Hello, Bubba. Okay, so Em's gonna pat you. Just chill, just chill. Ooh. Hi. Oh, you are quite nice, actually. I'll give that to you. Yeah. Okay. I love kangaroos, wallabies. Like, I, these guys are my jam. <laughs> You're the grumpiest old man oh, I've ever met. Boy. I think I'm good. I think I've found my soulmate, honestly. Okay. I'm just gonna chill with this one. Ah, just a boy in his kangaroo, eh? I'm gonna call you Roy. Roy, my boy. This is a pretty special little zone where all the like kangaroos and wallabies and stuff can come and like chill out. So pretty much when they're in here, no one can touch them, no one can pat them. It's just their time, their zone. Which is a pretty important thing because like it's amazing to be this up close and personal, but also they need their own space. So look at this, so relaxing. Okay guys, we are about to meet someone super cute and super cuddly. We're gonna meet a koala called Sprocket. Oh, so cute. I think that was an excited. Oh. <laughs> It was excited. Okay, all right. Shh. Gotta be nice and gentle. If you want to. All right, guys. Look at this. This is Sprocket, and of course, Yiska. Yiska. Oh. How old is Sprocket? Sprocket is a six-year-old male. He is beautiful. Look at these big, fluffy ears and that big nose. Lots of eucalyptus leaves mean lots and lots of poop, correct? Yes, lots of poop. Um, koalas will poop up to about 200 pellets a day. So okay, I did not know that. 200 pellets is a lot. Is it like a one time a day affair where it goes or is it just like it's, it's even while they're sleeping. Yeah, they'll just, just kind of continuously drop pellets. Oh, and he oh, comes. Darling. Look at him breaching. Oh. Pine. Look, you can have one of these too. Oh. Jack's so happy. Yeah, <laughs> mine never look good. This is great. Big oh. eye, though. But no, that's you're okay. not. Got one bung eye, but a great attitude. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not. Alright Jack, who are we about to meet? We are about to meet our next little animal friend, a dingo called Sterling, and it's just over there. Look, he's coming he's over coming now. He's coming in! Hi! Oh. Oh. Hey, thank you, Oh, and Jack, hello, I'm Ben. I'm saying hello to you. Hi. Hi, oh. Hi thanks. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. How old is Sterling? He's gonna be two years old in August. Now, out of the wild, dingoes don't have the best rap, and it's also good to know that you shouldn't really go up and pat them or feed them, correct? That is a very good point to make, yes. So, Sterling here is a very tame dingo that has been born in captivity uh, and has been yeah, raised here from a young puppy, so been very used to people from, yep. from an early age. It's amazing. He is a beautiful him. animal. He is. And we should actually ask, what is his exact 
species? Because there are different types of dingo. Oh, yeah. There's one species of dingo, right. but they can be broken down into um, different subtypes depending on the environments or habitat type okay. they live in. So he is known as an eastern or alpine dingo, mm -hmm. and then you've also got uh, tropical dingoes uh, and desert dingoes, and they can have slightly different coat colours depending on the environments that they're found in as well. But most people know dingoes as having this beautiful ginger colour. Oh, yeah. So beautiful. You're gonna come up for a photo oh, now. No, we're gonna do another one, mate. And we're going to get some cheese. I love cheese. so much. I love cheese. We love a cheese board. No, okay. Sterling's got cheese. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> Big slice. <laughs> oh, you're such a good one. Told you to be funny. Yeah, real laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is the end of our very first episode of Bully TV filmed right here at Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. We hope you guys had so much fun. And hey, if there's anywhere else that you want us to check out, comment below and let us know. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bully.